Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Let us pray together, saying, Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord, God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, What do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says my time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after the other, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. <clears throat> While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung the hymn, he went out to the Mount of Olives. <clears throat> then Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So you could not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away for the second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them sleeping, leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the, to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the sin hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. We are strengthened by grace. Even as, com as his community splinters, Jesus anticipates and prepares them for that rupture, demonstrating the reconciling character of the divine power he embodies. 
Although Jesus shares the Last Supper itself only with the Twelve, here, too, Jesus signals his embrace of a diverse community that includes those who will desert and betray him, not only Judas, but the whole group of Jesus' closest followers. The betrayals begin already with the disciples' chorus of denials after Jesus announces that one of them is a betrayer. Surely not I, Lord, each affirms in turn. We have seen denials like this earlier in the Gospel. Peter's confession that Jesus is Messiah and Son of God turns quickly to denial when he rebukes Jesus for speaking of the cross that awaits him in fulfillment of his messianic calling. Just after the Last Supper, Peter again will assert his singular righteousness and deny Jesus' prediction that he and the others will desert him. Some questions for us to consider. What difference does the Lord's Supper make in our lives? Does the meal we share on Sunday nourish our lives in the world? If so, how? If not, how might it? When have we last seen someone who needed a tangible expression of God's love? How can you help that person realize how precious they are to God? Let us pray together, saying, Lord God, thank you for the gift of your own body and blood. Let that gift strengthen us in the knowledge that you love us more than anything. Amen. My sisters and brothers, life is short. We do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who make this journey with us. So be swift to love, make haste to be kind, and may the blessing of God the God who made us, the God who loves us, the God who travels with us, be with you on this day and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, amen.